Hi guys, what I'm talking about in this video is cluster analysis and uh, how the process actually works as described in uh, the lecture. So let me just go to that portion of the lecture and let's just review uh, cluster analysis. Okay, so again, remember, cluster analysis, guys, is the process of clustering entities together based on their similarities uh, of certain attributes like income, age, uh, um, education level, uh, home value, um, IQ, uh, anything that is um, quantitative. Okay, so let's just pretend like we have 40,000 individuals that we're trying to cluster into two groups based solely on age and income information. Remember, as we spoke in class, the process, whether it be SAS or SPSS, has to start somewhere by randomly selecting two individuals to start out those two groups or two clusters or two segments. Okay, so in this case, it shows somebody who's 20 years old, $10,000 income, and somebody who's 60 years old with a $40,000 income. Okay, so now, the process begins by grabbing one of the other 39,998 individuals that was now placed as the initial seeds, and in this case, it's somebody who's 30 years old and $25,000 income. So how do we decide whether this person is more similar to this guy or this guy? It's going to be based solely on mathematical distance, the sum of the squared differences, uh, between each of the metrics. So in this case, we notice that this individual is 10 units away in terms of age. We'll square that. That's 100. They are 15 units away in terms of income. We'll square that. That's 225 for a total squared distance from cluster 1 of 325 units. We'll do that now for cluster 2, and we will see they're 30 years away, or 30 units away, squared 900, 15 units, 225, 1125 is the distance from cluster 2. This individual is closest to cluster 1, so this individual will move into cluster 1. Now remember, the reason, guys, again, that we square the distances uh, differences is because I don't care that the income is 15,000 lower or greater than this cluster. I just care that it is 15,000 difference. Uh, it doesn't really matter higher or lower. So in order to get rid of the negative positive aspect, we typically square. Okay, so on the next slide, I've got it all laid out. Again, the person that we're trying to determine where they go is 30 years old, 25,000 income. And we're trying to decide are they closest to this cluster or this cluster. 10 units difference squared 100, 15 units difference squared 225, total 325. 30 units difference squared 900, 15 units difference squared 225, 1125. This guy is closest to this cluster, so that's where he goes furthest from this cluster. Then it continues on. We've got another guy who's 40 years old, 35,000 income. Again, we compare to the initial cluster. Again, looking at the sum of the squared differences, 20 squared 400, 25 squared 625, total distance 1025. Again, 20 squared 400, 5 squared 25, 425. This time, this guy is closest to cluster 2. Let's just look at the math here. Somebody who's 40 years old, 35,000 income. Okay, do they go here or are they closest to this guy? 20 units squared, 400. 25 units squared, 625. Total distance, 1025. 20 units squared, 400. 5 units different squared, 25, 425. This guy is closest to cluster 2, furthest from cluster 1. That's where he goes. Remember, the process continues until everybody is placed in one of the two clusters, and then we recalculate the average age and income of cluster 1, average age and income of cluster 2. We toss everybody out and we start all over again comparing everybody to the average of cluster 1, average of cluster 2. Some people will shift sides and once we reach steady state we are actually done and the clustering is complete. Okay, see you in class.